In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your Dell 12th generation PowerEdge servers using a Dell provided ISO. This method is not my preferred method as it may not always include the latest firmware versions and it is also not as easy as updating through the lifecycle controller, but updating does not always work through the lifecycle controller the first time. This method is pretty much guaranteed to get you to a point where you can start updating using the lifecycle controller in the future. This guide covers the following Dell 12th generation PowerEdge servers. You will need to download the update ISO from Dell's Box Cloud Storage site. Please use the link for your corresponding server at the bottom of the description. Make sure you download the most recent ISO. Once you have the ISO, you can either mount it as a virtual drive and boot from it, or you can burn it to a DVD and boot it from it through the BIOS. In this video, we'll be using the virtual drive method. To start, we will go and download the ISO for my PowerEdge R420. As shown, make sure you download the latest version as there will be multiple on the site. I recommend downloading both the ISO and the MD5 file so that you can verify the integrity of the ISO before you install it. Now that it is done downloading, we will quickly verify the ISO. I use TerraCopy for this, but there are many programs available online. To boot using the virtual drive, we will need to open up the Java-based iDRAC Virtual Console. Click on Virtual Media and then Connect Virtual Media. Click on Virtual Media again. And click on Map CD DVD. Browse to the location of the update ISO that you downloaded, click on it, click open, and then click on map device. This will mount the virtual media so now you can boot from it. So as the next step we want to click on next boot and then select virtual CD DVD ISO. Click OK, click on power and power on system. Now your server will boot directly from that ISO. Once booted in, you will be presented with the Deployment Toolkit screen. Once you're here, press 1 on your keyboard and then press Enter to start the Deployment Toolkit CD. It's going to take a little while to load here, so please be patient. Now that everything is done loading, the ISO is going to start trying to update every component that it could possibly have been configured with the Dell PowerEdge server that you are updating. So. It is going to go through a lot of firmwares, so go ahead and walk away and get some lunch or work on something else because it's going to take a long time. After this process has completed, I highly recommend rebooting into the lifecycle controller and automatically updating through the Dell FTP. For instructions on how to do this, please click on the link in the description. I created another video that shows you how to use the lifecycle controller for this. If you run into any issues, my best suggestion would be to leave a comment below, post on the Dell forums, or in our home lab. Both of those sites have very helpful communities and they'll get you answers very quickly. I'll try and do my best to answer any comments in the YouTube section, but going to these sites will get you an answer much more quickly. Thanks for watching the video and have a good one.